Hello there, internets. It's Code Warrior Malo here, posting a second video to uh, in response to someone calling themselves the real James, who uses embed microcontrollers to play around with and do some fun stuff, just like I like to do. And his question was that when I showed the Arduino robot, the thing that struck him was that the Mega has all these additional pins and he wants to do what I was doing on a Nucleo, on an embed that did not have all those additional pins. And I had mentioned in my video that I originally did a test on the embed, using the embed platform, and uh, he just wanted to know how that's done. So that's what this video is for. Okay, here we go. This is the technique that can be used. So the embed sitting there in the middle, it is a Nucleo F411RE, as you can see, with two of these ultrasonic sensors. Uh, we can say that like one is rear and one is front. They are using the common trigger here. So these two green wires are connected to the trigger port on the front. You can see the trigger line and it's coming across here and I've put it into D4. So in my code, whenever I send the trigger out, it's going to go out D4. It will trigger both of these. However, I'm only going to check the echo that I care about. So this yellow echo we can say is like the rear and that's going into D6. And then just for clarity, I skipped a, I, instead of putting it in this slot, I put it in the pin, which is the same thing. This is D5. So D5 comes here to this one, which could be the forward or the rear. Um, they're using common five volt. So that's going into the five volt there. They are using common ground. So the white is the ground going into common ground over here. And then for visualization of what's going on here, if I cut off the distance uh, range fine for this so that it's close enough that it detects that it cannot move and it's, it's, it's fairly it's actually fairly far away. Um, then we'll get a we'll get one of these two lights to light up based on uh, which one it is, and uh, that and that only uses you know that's because they're sharing the ground for the five volt ground and uh, and they're sharing the trigger. Really, it's only using three uh, of your digitals over here as opposed to having to use one trigger for each. Uh, and that's, you know, that that's really how you're able to use something like the embed to do the same thing that we did, that I was doing with the Nucleo, I mean, with the, um, excuse me, with the Mega Arduino, because uh, it just has more digital ports on it, which allows you to do, uh, you know, more stuff and maybe break this stuff out. But there's no reason why you can't use the embed to do the same thing. So if I were to add two more ultrasonic echoes to this, ultrasonic range finders, uh, one being the, let's say the left and one being the right, well, that would only take two more of my digital slots. It wouldn't take six more. So they would just go into another one of these digital slots for their echo, but they would still share this common uh, trigger and the common ground as well as the common five volt. Now you will note that over here, these guys are running on three volt. They're not running on five volt. So their ground is going to a separate ground than the five volt. And that is just to prevent any backwash from the five volt. Uh, when these things fire off, they trigger uh, the ground draining through here. We don't really want any of that backwash of the five volt into these guys. So they're on a separate ground, but there's three grounds uh, here. There's one free still over here um, on this Nucleo board. Uh, it's a pretty decent board, 
to use. And I know that most of the embed boards do have the Arduino risers like this. So even if they don't have the additional pinouts uh, like the Nucleo, you should still be able to do this configuration. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and uh, let you see it actually work. So here it is running. I'm using the, empowering it with this little easy ACC battery, rechargeable battery pack. It works really well. It's not too terribly heavy. So I use it when I messing with the robot and whatnot. Um, and I've, as you can see, there's Velcro on it so that things can hook to it and it, and it can hook to things. So I have a little heartbeat going here on the Nucleo. Uh, this jumper right here, you need to put that on if you're not connected to the computer so that it will actually run the logic through an external power source. And then we have our range finder set up here. I've got it kind of cocked because it keeps seeing stuff that is not actually there. Uh, sometimes, I don't know what you know about these, but sometimes these, these things, people get frustrated with them because uh, they will do this weird deal where the ping will go out and it'll be picked up almost immediately by the echo uh, sensor. Uh, and so some people build some uh, tubes to extend these out so that they don't do that. Um, some insulation between them helps, but uh, that's what we're seeing with this one here. He's, he's kind of picking up that, that, that he's seeing himself, um, but it is working. So if I put my hand there, he will see it and he'll do that. And if I'm lucky, he'll turn off and then one or two pings later, he may see himself again. And then for the other one, the green light will come on if I put my hand here take it off and uh there we go so that's how you do it uh i think that it would be really cool james if uh, i saw yours i know that it's not uh the same nucleo that i have uh, i have two of these exact same ones so i would like to see it on another one as well i think they're pretty much the same i have the code for this up on the embed site so if you need it just uh you know look it up it's there, it's under Code Warrior Malo. And that's it, that's how you would do it with uh, uh, common connections, common triggers and separate echoes. All right, well, thanks again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was informative and uh, it helped you out, please let me know. And otherwise, I'll be seeing you guys around. Bye.